Hello and welcome Virgo Club members. Welcome to your extended Terrascopes for the week ahead. And as you can see, the three cards that we have already read, already dealt, we have on display here. And I have added in two tarot cards and I have added in an oracle deck as well. So Virgo, let's just do a quick recap. What was it that we said in the previous reading? So we had the Two of Swords here, which talks about being defensive. It talks about being a bit closed off and not seeing what's right in front of you. We then had the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about abundance, plentiful, having everything that your heart desires, having everything that you need. And then we had the Chameleon energy, which is telling it to give it your full attention. And what we were saying here is that, you know, you need to count your blessings. You need to be aware of what you have that's going good for you. You need to be aware of what's happening that that's going well in your life and not just be waiting for things to go wrong so that you can respond accordingly. It's time to remove the blindfold. It's time to face your situation openly and honestly, not e imagining or expecting it to be worse than it is. Count your blessings, see if they're what it is so that you can respond appropriately. So what are we blinded to? What are we not seeing? What are we so defensive about? That's what I'm asking with this card over here. So for all of you Virgos out there, what is it that you need to open your eyes to? What do you need to be mindful of? What do you need to be able to see? And it's the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles fits very closely with this Ten of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, again, it's about abundance. It's about plentiful. It's about having everything that your heart and soul needs, wants, and desires. But maybe, so, so maybe you already have a full plate. Maybe you already have everything that your heart and soul desires, but maybe you're just not acknowledging it. Maybe, maybe we're just not seeing it, okay? So you could ask yourself, what is it that I want? What is it that I need? What is it that I have? And then check it against your expectations. Check it against your, what you want, what you need, or what you think you want to need, and, and see how it fits in. Because honestly, when I look at this two of swords surrounded by these two, it's really saying that you already have what you're waiting for, but you're just not seeing it. So we definitely need to remove that blindfold and to have a good, hard, honest look at what's coming up for you. Good. Let's have a look and see what else Spirit wanted you to know. Three of Cups, I love it. So here we had the Ten of Pentacles, which is about acknowledging that you have everything that you need, everything that your heart and soul desires. It's, it's really, it's all there for you. King of Pentacles is confirming the same. We just need to give it our full attention and not, and, and sorry, and remove the blindfold so that we are not blind to the opportunities and the success. And the Three of Cups is the card of celebration. It's, it's about three people, three entities, three parts of yourself coming together and, and clicking cups and saying cheers, saying celebration, acknowledgement, joy, happiness, and success. This is the card of celebration. So if you can remove the blindfold and look at your life honestly, Give it your full attention. Look at your life honestly. You will see that there is so much to celebrate. There is so much to acknowledge. And you don't have to be so, you know, please forgive me for saying it this way, Virgo. But Spirit is saying so defensive and aggressive. Okay? We need to lighten up a little bit. We need to not be so, so, so strict with ourselves. Not so hard on ourselves. And we need to celebrate all that we already have. Because we have so much. Give it your full attention. All right. Let's have a look here. So this is the... um spirit animal oracle by colette baron reed and i know we've already got a spirit animal here but I, I really wanted to know what spirit animal specifically is working with you this week and what is the message that that spirit animal has so let's turn it over and see what spirit animal is working with you this week i love that look at the bright colors isn't it gorgeous hummingbird spirit telling you be here now and, you know, because what does a hummingbird do? When it's looking to take nectar from the flower, it needs to hover and it needs to be completely still so that it can, with its very delicate pointy beak, get into the sweet nectar. But it has to really be in that moment, in the now, be here now, in order to achieve that. And that's exactly what we have with these three cards. So this card is saying to you that you're not allowing yourself to be present. You're not allowing yourself to be here now. You're not giving it your full attention. All right, so Virgo, you know what you need to do this week. I think this is your focus card. Honestly, I think this is your focus card. And I think if you can remove that blindfold and possibly even put those two swords down and just, sure, take a deep breath and look at what's around you, you're going to see all of this that's there for you. Virgo, with lots of love and blessings from my heart to yours. Thank you.